Welcome to the exciting rebirth of Superstar featuring choose your membership rate as low as just $3 a month. At Superstar, you get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, class passes for Synchronicity University, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the Superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. Hello, fabulous superstar Aries. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of January 2021. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month. Now, as we begin the month, we're still working with that energy of late last month, the full moon that took place at the very foundation of your chart very likely will have you wanting to spend time on your own or at home or with family. But it is as we navigate further, right around the 13th of this month is when we will have this month's new moon. This new moon takes place at the very top of your sky and it is happening close in the sky with Pluto, adding that much more energy, intensity, and transformative power. There is a harmonious alignment with Neptune happening as well. And so all of this says to me that you may very likely be looking at your life path, looking at your career in a more practical way, and coming to a realization as to what it is that is true for you what it is that you really want to do, where it is that you are perhaps ready or aching for a sense of a fresh beginning. For some, this is going to be a powerful new beginning that ultimately aligns you with life purpose. But for others out there, especially where it is that you might have invested a whole lot in a particular path, this is going to be the realization of not just what's working, but more importantly, what isn't working and perhaps what it is that no longer feels right, no longer feels authentic to continue to pursue. And in that way, for some Aries out there, this energy can be challenging. And yet there's promise, there's faith, thanks to that beautiful alignment with Neptune. Everything doesn't have to be clear just yet, but this is a powerful energy that can align you with a higher, more loving vision for your life as part of the mystery. Now, as we navigate further, it is going to be on the 28th of the month that we will have this month's full moon. This full moon is taking place in a very heart-oriented part of the sky for you, having to do with what the heart truly desires. Now, this full moon is going to be speaking in a conversation of tension with Uranus and standing across the sky from Jupiter. And so it is going to be at this time where you're asking yourselves questions of fulfillment, where is it that you feel genuinely, creatively fulfilled? Where is it that you feel that you're able to use the best that you have to be well used for the things that you like about yourself is what this part of the sky represents. On a more practical level, this has to do with creativity, creative projects. It also has to do with children, children you have or children that you want. And so just know that your fertility may take you by surprise at this time. What's also possible here, if you have children in your life, they may be especially rebellious in some way, unexpectedly so, uh, but that does give you an opportunity to find a moment of honesty with self and with them. But where it comes to creative projects, this could be either a desire to share what you do uh, more broadly, and you may be making some effort, making some push, even when it feels hard. And it could be that a particular opportunity that you really want to work out seems to be uh, not exactly what you thought it was at first. It is going to be under the same sky that Mercury will be standing still and beginning its retrograde phrase on the 29th of the month. And so in some ways, this energy is very fortunate. We have the luckiest day of the year taking place around the same time. But the fact that what the heart truly wants is across that very fortunate energy of the Sun and Jupiter together. Uranus is squaring that. The fact that this energy is playing out in a heart-oriented, creative-oriented part of the sky does say that there may be some who don't understand what it is that you're really wanting, who don't necessarily understand what it is that you're hoping to achieve or hoping to bring forward, and that really is okay. This energy can bring with it great determination along with a vision, knowing that if you stay true to yourself, you can see those higher possibilities through to fruition. 
Now, where it comes to matters of love, that heart-oriented full moon really comes into focus with a month like this. And for those of you open to meeting someone new, this full moon energy says that you will very well be getting your flirt on in some way. And it is through flirting that you may find yourself uh, either being very surprised, uh, perhaps you don't even realize that flirting is happening until after the fact or somebody points it out and then it really takes you by surprise. Uh, but it's also possible here that you may find yourself in a flirtation that ultimately awakens something for you, a desire of the heart. And that may end up being part of the gift of a moment at this time. For those of you who've just started to date somebody, this full moon does put a focus on what is happening with dating and what is happening with your sense of heartfelt connections with another. How much do you genuinely enjoy their company? And I feel like at this full moon, you may be seeing things in a different way, in a new way. With Uranus involved, the energy can be very all or nothing. There is a sense of you seeing what's good and maybe what's not good, seeing what's less than ideal. But from there, things can truly take their own momentum. And for some, this is going to be very quickly realizing that this isn't working and going a whole other direction. But for others still, this can be a leap of faith that helps the two of you feel that much more connected. What I love about this month for you, well, look, as I spoke of in the year ahead video, in the Jupiter special video, uh, this is set to be a very powerful month. One of the more important things to take place for you is going to be Mars finally leaving your sign early in the month. And that is going to represent a big exhale after hosting Mars in your sign for about seven months, an unusually long time that defined much of 2020 for you. If as you're starting the year, you're really wanting to feel like new energy is coming in, don't you worry. A few days in, about a week in, that's when Mars will leave your sign. And right away, you'll feel yourself calm right down. And then that allows you to bring that energy of now self-knowledge, all that you learned about yourself over the course of 2020. And now bring that to your understanding of legacy and destiny with that new moon in the middle of the month, which ultimately leads you in a direction of heart and being more deeply honest with yourself. It is from that place of genuine honesty that you find yourself then aligning with the things that you know will bring genuine and meaningful joy. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this each and every week by logging on to the brand new Superstar Experience at NadiaShawSuperstars.com. For as low as just $3 a month, you can get expanded exclusive video scopes for each and every sign. You get instant access and so much more. All of this in the Superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.